record it, so should we do it? <laughs> yes, we should. So I guess this is the first official um, takeoff to bomb our enemies. Guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft War. Today, I can finally reveal something that we have been keeping secret for nearly a week now, if not a little bit longer. And it's absolutely huge, and it's gonna be so crucial for defeating Captain A. Gaming. It's gonna be so crucial for episode 50, and I will show it off in just a minute but welcome to minecraft war guys if you enjoy this make sure to go down below slap that like button it'd be greatly appreciated if you didn't watch yesterday's episode i had the old talk with um captain a gaming and um basically it's the last talk we're gonna have before episode 50 so we kind of just set some guidelines he gave me he said that i've got a surprise coming have no idea what that is but apparently i won't be expecting it i don't know but stuff is going down. But welcome to Micro 4. If you don't know what this show is, it's a private server. We're all friends here with um, storylines and everything going on. But I say storylines, but it's not scripted. It's just like little stories, I guess. <laughs> but I have been keeping this secret for at least a week now. Now, you might have noticed that you might have not seen I Steal Your Head and stuff for a little while. He hasn't been around really, to be honest. Um, or maybe you haven't really noticed that much since I've kind of been a week ahead as it was. But you might have not noticed that you haven't seen him. And a few of the other guys, it's actually been very quiet if you really think about it. And that's because they've been up to something pretty amazing. And I don't want to spoil it. It's probably in the comments. Like it's probably on the title as it is, but oh my god. It's freaking epic. I cannot wait to show it off. And the thing is, I haven't even fully seen it myself. So I'm super excited. What I've been shown is like screenshots, a few screenshots from Ice in Your Head, but not the full thing. And Ice in Your Head basically said today um, that it's mostly done. Um, one side of it is still being completed, but pretty much nearly ready to go. And um, he wants to use it for episode 50. And I think I'm already spoiling it. And he also, um, obviously plans to stay in it after episode 50. And from the screenshots, I don't know why he wouldn't, to be honest. Now, I'm just looking for some fuel. I might have to just craft some. I'm just being lazy. Now, I'm just looking for some fuel before we head out because it's quite a journey there. Ah, there we go. Lovely stuff. Some fuel. But let's take a trip on over there and I'm going to show you this freaking epic thing. It's amazing. And it's also going to be my, I'm probably spoiling it now, but it's also going to be my home for the next couple of episodes. Because the next couple of episodes, it's war prep time. It's episode 50. That's it. The attack is going to happen. I can tell you that. Just who knows what's going to happen in between these next couple of episodes. I have no idea. And here it is. Welcome to the strongest, and I probably can say this, the most secure fortress on the the entire map unless someone is hiding one of these but i very much doubt it this is i steal your heads and some other people's i i can't exactly remember the name so many people have been building this fortress it is absolutely insane and should i say it's not just one huge fortress as you can see Actually, you can't even see the whole entire thing because it's just absolutely huge and not rendering properly. But it's not just one fortress to our right. It's two freaking fortresses. If I go over here, there is another one side by side with huge, massive, open courtyards. It's absolutely insane. But this is hands down the strongest fortress on the server unless like i said someone is hiding one of these things on the map which there could be but this is the best that i have seen by far and what makes this even better that this is our official strike base for the war between captain on episode 50 which is absolutely insane and thank you to ice in your head quickie all those guys who have built this it's absolutely insane so this is where everyone on episode 50 on my side of the crew is going to be meeting and to make it all better, the reason that this is the strike base is because it's right, oh, well, not right next to, but it's very, very close to Captain's base. 
Now, we have been keeping this a massive secret. I know you might, I know you might be like, but you're showing it off now. It's fine. We can show it off now because we're all ready to be shown off. But, like, we have been getting geared for war, as you can see. Like, all the allies, I'm just a huge shout out to all the allies, the people who made all the tanks, everyone who made all the helicopters, especially the war hawks and stuff. Server so just timed out because the base is just too epic. But for the people who made all the tanks and um, helicopters, war hawks, you guys. Spengelman, thank you guys all so much. Absolutely insane. But this base is pretty much ready for war. It has everything we will probably need. <laughs> and by far the best fortress base on the server. I say every single base I look at is the best base, but this is by far the best. But honestly, I don't think Captain A Gaming knows what is coming towards him. Look at all the tanks that we have prepared. Arzor and his crew have went freaking ham these have all been transported to this base because it might as well be here because this is where we're actually going to be using it and i think they have more as well inside their vault if we need it but i think this is plenty of tanks i'm pretty sure we're not even going to use half of this stuff not even half of it they've got all the vehicles we'll need they've got like pretty much um cars with guns in them i don't know if the guns do damage but like we've got everything we'll need and we probably won't even use that much but i would say this is definitely the strongest base on the server, and I think I see her head and his crew, and why wouldn't they? This was meant to just be an outpost base. And then I think they started making it. And I think they've said that they're officially going to move in into it after the war. Now, granted, Captain's probably going to find out about it if he doesn't already know about it. And he's probably going to attack it and stuff like that. But they said that they're going to move into this base. And if it gets attacked, they're just going to repair it and stay living in it because... They, they just, they fell in love with it. And to be honest, I'm actually jealous of it. Because once this war is over, that's it. Like, I'm not part of Ice Slayer Head's crew. We're just involved in this war. And the reason why Ice Slayer Head and all them are so invested in it. Because at the end of the day, if they win the war, they get all the profit. They get most of the profit anyway. I get maybe a tinsy bit. But I've given them all the profit to help me win this war. And that's the cost, I guess, of the war. But I basically just want to win it to win it, <laughs> I guess. And obviously be captain for what he's done to us. So that's the reason why this this crew is is um, so heavily invested in beating Captain. But as you can see, they've taken some of the base design from Ice Your Head's old base. And I, I think they've moved in here fully. Like, they actually have. But as you see, they got factories up and rolling. Um, I don't know if they're fully working just yet. But what a base they have. Like, everyone's going to be able to fit in here perfectly fine. And the reason why they said that they're going to stay here as well, let's, if we don't win the war in episode 50... Uh, basically, they can um, they can keep an eye on Captain's base because they're very cl close. But we've got an arsenal of tanks, vehicles over here. This is what this amazes me as well. Look, they've got planes ready to go. I have no idea if these are armed yet, but I think I see their head said that these planes are all going to be armed very soon. So basically, they're just ready to go. You can just take them straight off if needs be. But I don't think they're armed just yet because obviously no one's really protecting the base properly. But look at this. Are we ready for war or not? <laughs> this is absolutely insane. I just, you know what I mean? Captain's sitting there probably like, ah, oh, you know, they're going to come with, they, they, they won't have a lot of stuff. They're not that rich. Well, I guess I'm not rich, but um, my allies sure are. <laughs> and I think definitely by saying that they can have all the profits or most of the profits was probably a good idea because if I didn't, if I didn't say that, I probably wouldn't be standing in a base like this, getting ready to attack one of my enemies. But look at this as well. All the bombers ready to go. Absolutely insane, honestly. I am so freaking hyped for this war. I really, really am. So roughly, it's about, I think, about a thousand blocks away from um, Captain's base, which is not far, especially when you're flying to it. And obviously, they couldn't build a base this size, like, right next to Captain's, because it would have got found. But I bet you any money, Captain's gonna start, um, Captain's definitely gonna start attacking our spawn squad bases. Because he's gonna think, okay, well if I attack them and I upset them and I get rid of their stuff, it's gonna make them weaker. Which, yeah, that definitely makes sense. Uh, but, hopefully, little does he know, uh, we have everything ready here. Most of the other bases are now just dummy bases. They were rich bases, but... This is where mainly everything is. And oh boy, what a base this is. And I love the kind of design that they have for this base because it's very, like, you're very in it. So if an enemy wants to snipe you, let's say, or attack you, they really have to get inside the base. Like, it's it's going to be quite hard to pearl out of here. That's for sure. Um, it's 
Well, it'll be easy to bomb it, obviously. Any base will be easy to bomb. But um, I definitely do not blame them for moving into this base uh, once the war or whatever happens on episode 50. Like, honestly, it's amazing. I'm almost jealous of it. But let me show you a little bit more. So the other, I'm not sure what the other fortress is being used for. Now, this is the definitely, I would say, the main one, 100%. Or this is their more military one, should I say. And I, I'm, this is where everyone will be prepped um, on episode 49 or episode 50. I have no idea what's going to be going on, to be honest. But this is just insane. Absolutely insane. To let you know, it took them three days just to dig out this base alone. That's crazy stuff right there. But then what's really cool is that you can see this road. And you might be like, that road's leaving the fortress. This road leads to the other fortress, which we're going to go take a look at now. I'm just so hyped because this is my first time actually properly seeing this. I didn't... Now, I don't know if they have all the planes out because they knew I was going to do a tour. Or if they just have the planes out ready to go. But I... The screenshots did not do this justice. That's all I'm going to say. This is insane. And obviously the roads linking them together. That's epic. I, I hope they put like a little bit more defense down here. So that, you know what I mean? Just in case people infiltrate it and stuff. But here, as you can see... Another massive open fortress, which I don't know what they're going to use this for. But look, if we have a lot of people chilling around here in episode 49 or 50. At least they've got a lot of space to uh, do whatever they want. But look, this is um, this is impressive. But I see your head just said that the bomber, the Lancaster bomber that's in the, f that the first Lancaster bomber, he said, on the line of the runway is actually filled with bombs. And he said, if you want. Take it, use it, it doesn't matter, he's got it, apparently he said, he put it this way, he said, I have a few more, <laughs> if you lose it, which I most likely will, but should I go bomb the enemies? I guess at the end of the day, it is war, uh, while well, the war is coming up, and we need to let him know that, the, you know what I mean, this ain't a friendly war, this is war, and I think he has bombed one of our base not long ago, I didn't get a chance to record it, so, should we do it? <laughs> yes, we should. So I guess this is the first official um, takeoff to bomb our enemies. Uh, I guess so. Technically, I'm I'm christening the base, I guess. <laughs> Does it actually have bombs? Okay, yeah. Oh, my. Are these large bombs? Oh, my God. It's full of large bombs. Holy freaking smokes. They weren't lying. Does it have anything else? Are the gun no, okay. The guns aren't loaded, which is good. Does it have fuel? Has enough fuel? All right, yo. I guess let's go bomb Captain. I guess, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's war. He's online, so it fits the rules. I can do what I want. And this will actually be a surprise. Unless he's out and about. I don't think he's going to see his base getting bombed. Okay, here we go. Should we gain some altitude so that it's hard to shoot us down? Okay, fire, fire. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Drop, 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 drop. They're very slow to drop. But look, it might do a bit of damage. Yeah, let's do it a bit. Doing more than I thought. We might have killed the cows, maybe. <laughs> okay, bomb. There we go. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a good hit. That's, there's some good hits. <laughs> I wish the large bombs did more damage. <laughs> They're so... Flans mod's bombs are so weak, but it's just so satisfying. It probably would be better just to go in there and drop TNT on the floor. I think that would be a lot better. I don't think they're there because I don't see any of them. But yeah, this isn't going to do too much damage, but it's going to let them know we're coming. We're coming for you. Drop, drop, drop. Here we go. Nice one. Oh, do you know what? Let's go see if they repaired their farm base. We can bomb that as well. Did they repair this base or did they leave it? Oh, no. Okay, right. They did not touch this base again. It is still completely destroyed. How many bombs have we got left? Uh, not that many at all. So we've done pretty much very little damage. But there's still a bit of damage there. So I'm happy about that. Here we go. Let's drop the last few bombs if we can. No, we might have come back around. Just even destroyed a helicopter landing pad. What's that quartz bit area? So as well, um, I guess we're bombing them, but also it's a bit of a scout mission. You know, Captain knows the war is coming up, but nothing... That I'm a little bit worried, or maybe he just doesn't care, or maybe he just thinks that he doesn't need it, but no defensive changes have changed to his base. Like, no changes have happened. So, like, either he's not getting prepared for war, or he's going to get prepared for war on the last day with his base, because nothing's changed. There's no barriers, there's no... There's nothing. There's no AA guns even out, which I guess I'm taking full advantage of. And there we go. We are now out of bombs. Okay, let's just do one sl uh, slow flyby past Captain's base and just see how much damage we did. I don't think it was that much, but it was a good bit. And, uh, and the perfect thing is, I don't even think Captain knows we're bombing him. He's probably underground in the vault and doesn't hear it. Okay, we did a bit of damage to the bridge, a little bit of damage to the top. 
Did we kill? Did we kill any of the animals? No, they're still perfectly intact. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, I guess well, um, when Captain emerges from his vault, he will find out that he has been attacked. But yeah, we didn't do much damage, but it's a warning. It's to let him know. There's still time to consider your surrender. <laughs> And I guess we'll now head home. But see, this is what I don't understand. Captain said you better trust who you trust. Um, which is, yeah, I, I, so it seems to me that someone in the group is not actually in our group. He's in Captain's group. That's what it seems like. Um, all right, I need to land this thing. But, like, why would... I, I trust... Uh, if I trust anyone, I trust Isler Head's group. Because why else... Oh my god, we can just... Oh, are we stuck in this plane? <laughs> but why else would they build this huge base if they were just going to betray me? Well, I guess they could still live in it if they do, but... Captain and stuff, like, or Ice Your Head and all these people, I trust 100%. They'd be nothing but perfect. So I wonder who he has doing the dirty stuff. Or is he just trying to stir the pot for no reason and make me make an enemy of myself? I don't know. It's kind of confusing me. But there we go. We just bombed Captain's base. We're now back at this base. This is where I'm going to be for the next few days. So get used to this beautiful base. Um, I actually have no stuff here. I've just realized that. Hopefully I can just borrow Jason's stuff. I hope, hope hopefully he won't mind. <laughs> but I am actually super jealous of this base. I kind of slightly want to just buy it off them. <laughs> for PayPal money, of course. <laughs> But no, once this war is done, I'm building my own um, off-the-grid base, epic, amazing base, and um, I guess um, start building up the nuclear bombs so that when another war breaks out, you just nuke them. <laughs> That's probably what I'm going to do, in fairness. I'm pretty sure everyone on the server is going to have a stash of nukes. I, I don't know if adding the nuclear bomb mod is going to be a good idea, but what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good idea or no? We're going to add it nonetheless, just to give it a try. And I guess as well, if you have any other cool, unique mods... That you would like added to the show let me know down below i'd love to hear what mods you would like to see but anyway guys thank you very much for watching i'm going to end this episode off here captain if you watched this episode and you didn't know about this base that is cheeky my friend you should not be watching the videos but i'm sure you're, you're i'm sure you're good but anyway guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next episode